Hello everybody and welcome to another episode or not really an episode but a mini tutorial on the shenanitor feed the beast server now I forgot what mod it is I think it's forestry but they have lasers and lasers can be can replace electronic circuits and they're a lot cheaper if you have ender balls or access to other stuff so I set up my own little laser room now I'm gonna turn it off right now and this was very hard to get set up because these corners here are annoying to get but I ended up getting them in the end and it was very successful but right now these lasers have a lot of charge from all these electric engines so I'm gonna click on the pulsating chipset and since the charge is so like strong in these lasers they're going to change color so here, red and you can see it going up extremely fast and it stays blue because blue is the highest and you see it raising extremely fast because that is the energy stored inside the lasers and uh, the blue just multiplies the amount so if I click this here I can turn the lasers on to normal and these electric these electric engines power this assembly table and you can see it going up it needs 40,000 it's getting about 20 per tick and it's going to go up as the engines charge up to higher speeds like that and they're running on high voltage right now so they do overheat eventually but not very often and not often enough that where you you would need to worry about it now this whole place costs one two four five okay 19 times two so this 38 diamonds 38 obsidian and 19 times 5 equals a 95 redstone so that's the amount of stuff you need to make all these lasers now to make the electric engines you need um, 38 tin gears a lot of tin just get like a stack and a half or something um, 19 glass and 19 pistons to get this setup going and actually I'm gonna turn this off right now because I'm gonna go show you guys the wiring so now the and the assembly table pops stuff out I'm, you might be able to use obsidian pipes to mess with that but for right now I'm just gonna show you the wiring under now I had it very complicated at first and didn't understand how simple I can make it so I have all of these here all these repeaters putting power into these blocks with redstone torches and all these blocks up here have redstone torches so it's turned off right now because these ones here are uh, making those opposite and it doesn't the redstone signal does not go all the way around so I have this set up here where it goes to that um, these three repeaters into these blocks but then it ran out around in here so I had to um, reroute it up and around and give, putting another repeater there so it does not make a loop that's how I stopped it from making a loop and um, it's a bit harder to get a uh, switch closer because it'll interfere with the redstone on the ground but this is an extremely good design that I came up with at least I think it's extremely good and it's very useful for getting pulsating chipsets and all kinds of different chipsets and uh, facades and stuff like that. Pulsating chipsets can be used in Lapatronic energy story storage units, industrial centrifuges. So you can use a redstone and a ender pearl instead of a um, advanced circuit. So it just makes your life a lot easier. You can use it in player detectors industrial centrifuges again because that glitched um, all these high advanced items in IC2 it can be replaced with especially um, things like these data control units you would need four advanced circuits but I just got two pulsating chipsets in like an extremely fast time using this design so if you do have the resources to set this up it can be an extremely extremely good way to replace your electronic circuits or your advanced circuits because these are a lot easier to make if you have the uh, power to make it 
and uh, the Ender Pearls. And I do have the Ender Pearls to do it. I actually have, I think, 32 more over the, over in my place because I went Enderman hunting a while back. And you can actually make redstone chip sets. I will show you what redstone chips is going to be used in. Okay, there's the chip sets. They can be used to make AND gates. They can't be used to make anything else, but they can be used to make gates and all these different gates that can and these autoradic, I don't know how to pronounce that, these autoradic gates can be used to make different things like the um, LESU block is a different block from the other, from what the pulsating chipset can make. So it's, it's, it's an extremely good way to replace items that you normally would have to spend electronic circuits on. See, you would have to spend electronic circuits to make that solar panel, but you can use autoradic um, gates. And same with lopton crystals and anything that really requires a um, electronic circuit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you and that you like it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time.